So some of you may have heard that salt is very corrosive um, on, on components of the spa, like you know, your jet pump, your heater, your, uh, you know, if you have the escutcheons, those stainless steel escutcheons, which I've talked about in, in other videos and stuff. Um, because there is some corrosiveness that can occur when you get too much sanitizer in the water, because the chlorine is a sanitizer. It forms hypochlorous acid in the water, which is, uh, which is acid, so it's gonna slowly oxidize things. But it's important to note that salt actually is the least corrosive of all of the things that you could use. If you look at any of these other types of chlorine, you'll see the kind of the melting hand. This is the universal uh, symbol for corrosiveness. So chemicals are quite corrosive. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a tablet form, it doesn't matter if it's a granular form, it doesn't matter if it's a liquid form. They're all corrosive. Even the bromine, oops, even the bromine's corrosive, corrosive, right? So they're all corrosive. I think that's important to point out because um, the granulars and the liquids is something that the consumer controls. Whereas with most of our systems, they're designed to not create too much chlorine, especially Spa Boy. Spa Boy just shuts off. So we're never getting into that corrosive range um, where the, the, the level has gotten too high. But with some of the third party uh, chlorinators, saltwater chlorinators, or some of the, uh, like the Onzen system or the uh, Saltron Mini, um, if a customer left that on too, too strong, like it, those are based on time. So if you only want it to be on for five hours a day, or it only needs to be on for five hours a day, and you actually put it on for 10 hours a day, then you're gonna start producing too much sanitizer and you may end up with issues. Um, most of the tubs nowadays, you know, we're, we're using a titanium heater element. Uh, we're using ceramic seals on the, uh, on the motors and stuff. Most of the spas nowadays are trying to use stuff that helps prevent the corrosive nature of chemicals from damaging it. So when I hear people say, oh, if you use a salt system, it's gonna corrode your spa, they're not really telling you the whole story. If you use any type of sanitizer, it could corrode the spa if you're not paying attention. And the, the same thing that can happen uh, with, uh, with over chlorinating, um, when you use a, a system that's worked on time, so you're running eight hours instead of five hours, the same thing can happen with one of these dispensers. Depending on how open this dispenser is, exposes more tablets, right? The more tablets that are exposed, the more sanitizer that's being dissolved into the water. So normally, you'd fill this bottom part up here with tablets, and the tablets on the bottom would be exposed, which is also a reason I tell people when you use these dispensers, don't turn them upside down because it makes all the tablets wet and then all the tablets start dissolving, which will over sanitize your water. You get way too much chlorine in there. You'll also get way too much uh, cyanuric acid in there, um, but it's gonna over chlorinate. Anytime you over chlorinate or over sanitize the water, you have the potential to uh, cause corrosion in the components of the spa. And uh, if you read the warranties on most spas, uh, the number one reason uh, they uh, void warranties is for water maintenance, and that's talking about chemicals. Um, I've had many, many, many more spas have problems from chemicals, uh, improper chemical use. Sometimes they use the wrong chemical. Remember those pH decreasers, pH increasers, those are also caustic and can cause corrosion and stuff on the spa. So I'm here to tell you that salt is the easiest for us to maintain uh, water that's not corrosive. So th by far the chemicals lead to far more problems than that, which is why most public swimming pools and stuff have switched over. Uh, if you go to any commercial setting, hotels and stuff, they're all switching over to uh, salt-based systems because it's easier, it's less corrosive, it uh, uh, feels nicer on the skin, and it doesn't have cyanuric acid in it. So uh, please keep that in mind when you're, when you're listening to other people talk about this. I want you to come back to this video and really get the straight goods. And if you don't believe me, you know, look it up yourself. Just type into your Google search, um, should I be using uh, chemicals that have cyanuric acid, stabilized chlorines, and ask your spa retailer um, that you're buying your chemicals from if they have an unstabilized chlorine because the CDC clearly recommends, as does many states, not to use stabilized chlorine in your spas. I'm John Kirstead from Arctic Spas Vancouver Island. Thank you for listening to this video.